Okay, we are going to start looking now at discrete probability distributions. So before we get into what a discrete probability distribution is, we're going to look at an example, kind of thinking about how we were calculating probability before. So this example says you decide to toss two coins. What are the possible outcomes you could see? So if I toss two coins, I could see two heads. I could see a heads and a tails. I could see a tails and a heads. Or I could see two tails. So then I might ask a question like, what is the probability that you flip a coin and get two heads? Well, that would be one out of four. So we're going to take this idea and we're going to kind of expand on it. So we're going to introduce random variables. Random variables are variables whose possible values are numerical outcomes of a random phenomenon. They are usually denoted with a capital X. And then a discrete probability distribution is a table that lists the numerical outcomes of a random variable with each outcome's probability. The order for a discrete probability distribution, or sorry, in order for a discrete probability distribution to be valid, the probability column must sum to one. If it does not sum to one, you do not have a valid distribution. So we're gonna take the first example that we were looking at and we're going to create a probability distribution where X represents the number of heads you can get when you toss two coins. So I'm gonna start this table I'm going to switch this to black real quick by creating an X column and then a probability of X column. So now this X column, this X represents the number of heads that we got when we rolled, or sorry, when we flipped the two coins. And then this guy is the probability of that outcome. So for this X column, I'm not going to list out the outcomes as heads, 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 tails, and so forth. I'm going to list it in terms of how many heads did I see. So for example, when we listed out the possibility of two tails right here, two tails means that we see zero heads. So one possibility for the number of heads that we see is zero. If we get two tails, then we have zero heads. Another possibility is that we see one head. In the case of flipping a coin and getting a heads and then getting a tails or vice versa. And then finally, we could see two heads. These are the different possibilities for the number of heads that I see when I flip a coin. So then the probability that I see zero heads is one out of four. Because if I look at my outcomes up here, one of those outcomes has zero heads and there were four total possibilities. So we know we always wanna give probabilities as decimals so that would be 0.25. So then the probability of seeing one head. Well, here is an outcome with only one head, and here is another outcome with only one head. So there are two outcomes with only one head out of the four possible outcomes. So this is a probability of 0.5. And then finally, the probability that we get two heads is one out of four, or 0 0.25. So then if I check to make sure that this sums to one, if I take the sum of this row, 0 0.25 plus 0.5 plus 0.25 does sum to one, so this is a valid distribution for the number 
of heads when you flip two coins. So this is a quick introduction to what a discrete probability distribution is. It is a table that lists the number of the outcome that you're interested in and then the probability of seeing that outcome. 